Welcome. We want to do a series about stories behind the quilts that we've designed. So this is going to be the first quilt in our series. This is our Rising from the Ashes quilt. I want to talk about how I came up with the idea, the colors behind it, and how it's put together. So the first thing about this one was it was a job that was commissioned originally from Anthology Fabrics. Anthology Fabrics was coming out with a new line of basics, and they were going to call them Lava. And they are lava. They're beautiful basics. They're available now. But at the time, they wanted to do a quilt that was a volcano quilt. And I went back and forth and thought about it, did some sketches, and I just I couldn't do something that was impressive, in my mind, that was a volcano that would be a quilt that people would want to make. Because we wanted this to be a pattern that people would want to buy the fabric and make. Which is our, our job in the Women's Quilt Workshop Studio is to do that. We design quilts for most of the major fabric companies out there. You've seen our patterns as free projects. You can buy our whole line of patterns at thewhimsicalworkshop.com. Um, but we are usually in a um, collaborative effort with the fabric companies to promote their newest lines to help the quilt shops buy the fabric and the consumers to want to purchase the fabric. So the pattern has a lot of power in trying to convey the message of the collection. So long story short, they wanted a volcano quilt. I couldn't come up with a volcano quilt that I was, you know, comfortable using. And I went back to them and I said, how about if we did a phoenix quilt? I've always enjoyed Greek mythology. I've always loved the story of the, the phoenix and how she rises out of the ashes. And they said, sure, go ahead. So we started the sketching process. Um, she originally had lots of different colors in her. Right now she has, I think, just six uh, reds, orange, and yellows, and golds, but I wanted it to be an impactful quilt. So first we came up with her as the sketch, then down here at the bottom you can see the flames, um, and then we had to come up with a background for her. Uh, the first and easiest, the low-hanging fruit, was to put her on a black background. But again, they were unveiling this 100 plus collection of basics and we wanted to utilize more than just the, the colors in the bird and in the flames. So I came up with the diamond background, which at first glance most people don't see because they're looking at the focal point of the quilt. But in the back is a square, these are 60 degree triangles. They make up the whole background to create the diamonds, so the rows of triangles that are sewn so that they create that diamond shape. And they start in the middle as rusts and browns because they're supposed to look like she's in a cave and the light is projecting out. So it's gonna be brightest behind her and darkest out here at the edges. Uh, and so we had to make two of these. One was for Anthology Fabrics and the one here you see and so I do know you can use the dye from AccuQuilt to cut those triangles because we did that. But in the pattern, it is a template that we give you that you can cut with a ruler. Um, you can also use a ruler just made for those triangles. So we got the background together. We put her together and how we assembled her, it's all fusible applique. Uh, and we give you full-size reverse templates and full-size placement drawings in the pattern. The pattern is... Uh, Right here, it's very thick because everything is to size, you don't have to blow it up. But um, there's videos out there about our, video, our patterns and, and how we do fusible applique. But we did assemble her in four components. We did the body, then we built each wing, and then we did her tail, and then we did the flame separate. Um, and then to assemble it, I put the one wing on and I stitched it. I did a blanket stitch in uh, Aurifil orange and 50 weight. And I got that whole wing down, then repeated for the second wing. And then I got her body in there. And the very last thing was the tail and the flames. Um, so it's, if you can do fusible applique, we give you the placement drawing. You just have to follow paint by number. Um, she is a labor of love. She does take a while, especially with the peace triangle background. But it's one of those quilts that I'm really proud of. Um, we also added a little crystal to her eyes. So it had some sparkle. And then this one was quilted by, we had one quilted by Benet Poles. That's the one that uh, Anthology Fabric owns. And I believe is hanging in the offices in New Jersey. 
And then ours, we had Monica Chrome quilt it, and she quilted flames all in the back. So it's very, very subtle. They disappear. You don't see them, but it adds some texture and movement to our quilt. So I hope you've enjoyed the story behind the quilt for our Rising from the Ashes. Uh, this is a pattern that is available on our website, and it is using the Lava Basics from Anthology. Uh, let me know what you think, if you'd like to hear more stories behind our quilt designs. And I thank you very much for watching, and make sure you subscribe and like below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, make sure you like and subscribe below. You can find The Whimsical Workshop on our website, thewhimsicalworkshop.com, and that has all links to all of our other social media platforms. Thanks for joining us.